Tosh Dile, this is Sakina Bhatt and welcome to Tibet This Week, a weekly news on Tibet, His Holiness the Dalai Lama and Central Tibetan Administration. Let's look at the headlines. Education should train individuals to make peaceful society, says His Holiness the Dalai Lama. Central Tibetan Administration President's historic visit to U.S. State Department rules China. Tibetans mourn the demise of Tagna Jingmi Sangpo, Tibet's former political prisoner. His Holiness the Dalai Lama and Central Tibetan Administration congratulate Jacinda Ardern on election victory. Two Tibetan students crack NEET. His Holiness the Dalai Lama suggested the aim of education should be to train happy individuals who will make up a peaceful society. His Holiness said it requires warm-heartedness and taking a broad-minded, holistic and far-sighted approach that enables people to cope with any situation. As long as space remains, sentient beings remain, I will remain in order to serve them. And within this life, uh, uh, till my last breathing, uh, I can, uh, I can make every sort of what's a day, small, small contribution regarding uh, peace of mind. And, and for that, patience, very important. In order to practice patience, your troublemaker, so-called your enemy, is best a teacher. His Holiness was invited to a discussion with members of EdCam Ukraine, an educational NGO that is Emory University's official social emotional ethical learning partner in Ukraine on Tuesday this week. China has said it opposes the meeting of Central Tibetan Administration President Dr. Lubsang Singe and newly appointed U.S. Special Coordinator for Tibetan Issues, Assistant Secretary Robert Destro, just days after the Tibetan leader was hosted at the U.S. State Department building for the meeting in a historic first. As the story ran on the front page of prominent newspapers, both nationwide and globally, Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson Tao Lijian protested by issuing a statement calling Tibetan government in exile a separatist political organization with the agenda of pursuing Tibetan independence. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo announced the appointment of Assistant Secretary Robert A. Destro as the new U.S. Special Coordinator for Tibetan Issues on Wednesday last week. The Central Tibetan Administration and Tibet supporters welcomed Destro's appointment. Tibetans around the world mourned the demise of Tibet's longest-serving political prisoner, Tagna Jingme Sangpo, who spent almost his entire life in Chinese prison and the remaining in exile advocating for Tibetan cause. President Dr. Lopsang Singe of Central Tibetan Administration expressed profound condolences at the demise, saying, I have been an admirer of his courage since my youth days. It was an honor meeting him in person, and I also took part in the launch of his autobiography in Dharamshala. We have lost a true patriot of Tibet. Central Tibetan Administration observed prayer service for the demised, and the offices were closed for the rest of the day. Takna Jigmi Sangpo, who had spent 37 years in Chinese prison, passed away on Saturday last week in Switzerland at the age of 91. His Holiness the Dalai Lama and Central Tibetan Administration congratulated Jacinda Ardern on her election victory in the New Zealand general election. In a congratulatory note, His Holiness expressed his admiration for the Prime Minister's courage, wisdom and leadership shown in these challenging times. CTA President Dr. Lopsang Singe and Speaker of Tibetan Parliament in Exile Pema Chungne also congratulated Jacinda Ardern's astounding victory and reaffirmed her able and compassionate leadership of the people of New Zealand, adding that the world needs more of such leaders. 
For the first time ever, two Tibetan students, Tenzing Yeshi and Kunga Legjung, have scored more than 500 since the introduction of NEET exam by Medical Council of India in 2013. The Department of Education of the Central Tibetan Administration congratulated the two students for clearing the All India National Eligibility Come Entrance Test. The qualifying score of 147 out of 720 is mandatory to get admission in medical colleges across the country were declared on 16 October. 41 Tibetan students applied for the six MBBS reserved seats offered to Tibetan refugee students by the Government of India and State Government of Himachal Pradesh. So much for this week. See you next time and have a great weekend.